Hey everyone, so I've been asking to see a comparison between the Sony Xperia Compact and the Sony Xperia X1. So let's go and power them both on. Now both of these phones are more mid-rangers, although all Sony phones, regardless of the price point, are all great phones. Uh, very well optimized fast phones. Now the XA1 is a bit newer by about 6 months. Uh, although both these phones, same exact price point in the United States, around $300. And you notice that the XA1 does have a larger screen, so 5 inches or 4.6, both screens 720p. Alright, so X Compact, first one to boot up. And now XA1 up as well. Alright guys, so this is a difference of about 1 or 2 seconds there, although X in fact was the first one to boot up. And you see everything closed out on both phones. So let's do a quick rundown of the phone specs. So again, you do have a larger screen on the XA1, both screens 720p. Front facing camera on the X Compact is 5 megapixels versus 8 on the XA1. Now the X Compact does have dual front facing speakers. XA1 does not. Look at the bottom, so both phones USB C. And the side, so on the X Compact, you do have a headphone jack. On the XA1, you don't. And top, so headphone jacks on both. And the other side. And look at the back. So on the X Compact, you have plastic back. And on the XA1, more of a polycarbonate material. Also, both phones have rear-facing 23 megapixel cameras. I uh, do prefer the one on the X Compact, a little bit more advanced than the one on the XA1. Although, both are pretty good. Alright guys, so let's get started. You see everything closed out on both. And let's go ahead and do temp run through first. Alright, so what we got here is a MediaTek Helio P20 processor and 3 bits RAM for the XA1 versus Snapdragon 650 and 3 bits RAM for the X Compact. And it looks like the Snapdragon is going to take this one by, uh, by a few seconds. So yeah, the X Compact, it did launch at a much higher price point, around $500 when it first came out. But at this point, it is around $300. And the XA1 launched for around $300, so that's why both of them currently at that price. Alright, iFunny next. Alright, so X Impact taking iFunny. Next up, YouTube. And we do have a lot of speed test comparisons playing for the video. Um, so another one going to X Compact. Weather. X compact there. Wow, yeah, 8 degrees Celsius, uh, almost summertime. All right, X compact for settings, Spotify. Now, these are slightly dis different versions of the app, so XA1 is winning that, but again, slightly different versions. Calculator next. Looked like X compact and clock. So, so far we're seeing a pretty consistent theme. And it's waiting for an ad to load up. Well, it doesn't always load, but uh, you guys let me know in the comments just one one. Alright, just a few more and move on to more stuff. So next up, Ash Ball 8. And neither, oh, okay, so this one going to XA1. Neither of these phones are waterproof, um, although both do a micro SD card support. All right, album next. All right, so it looks like X Compact there, eBay. 
So again, another one working white for X compact. So yeah, both phones come with 32 gigabytes internal storage and micro SD card support. All right, so here is the intuitive benchmark. And you're gonna notice that the X compact around 81,000 versus 60,000 for the XA1. So yeah, you're definitely gonna be getting better gaming performance for the X compact. Let's go and test out more of the general use stuff. So let's do Chrome next. All right guys, so we're just gonna do sites. Let's go to zelda.com first. Now, neither of these web browsers are as fast as Sony Xperia XCS, although both pretty fast. And did see X Compact a little bit faster there. Let's do Nintendo next. Down.com. So, yeah, a little bit faster again on X Compact. Let's do IMDb. Again, a little bit faster on X Compact, and one last one. Let's go ahead and do Yahoo.com. All right, guys. So again, slight advantage here for the X Compact. So yeah, so far it looks like the X Compact is a little bit faster. Let's do a few more tests. Next up, let's go ahead and bring the cactus, and we're just gonna test out the camera speed. So as I mentioned, both these phones are rear facing 23 megapixel cameras, although the one on the X Compact is higher quality. But for now, it's testing out the speed. Alright. So should be focusing on both. All right, so it looks like a little bit, of, a little bit of a mixed result. Yeah, definitely a bit of a mixed result here for camera speed. Alright guys, we are going to do, well as I mentioned on the X-Impact, you do have a frame scanner, on the XA1 you don't. So next up we'll do multitasking, but before that let's round off the specs real quick. So both these phones have 720p screens, larger screen on the XA1, uh, 5 inches versus 4.6. Uh, front facing cam on X-Impact, 5 megapixels versus 8 on the Sony Xperia XA1. Rear facing camera on the both, again, 23 megapixels, a little high, uh, higher quality on the X Compact. Both phones, 32 gigabytes internal storage, micro SD card support. Larger battery on the X Compact, 2700 capacity versus 2300 capacity for the XA1. Snapdragon 650 and 3 bytes of RAM for the X Compact. Snapdragon, or not Snapdragon, MediaTek Helio P20 processor and 3 bytes of RAM for the XA1. Uh, both phones use B Type C. Stereo speakers on the X Compact, fingerprint scanner as well, you don't have that on the XA1. And it mostly covers it. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and do some multitasking, starting off from the uh, from the very beginning. So we got Tumper on 2 first. Alright, so not surprising here, both these phones are restarting it. Now if you get one of the higher end phones like the Sony Xperia yes, it most likely will not restart the app. Most time it won't. And as we saw at the beginning of the video, uh, X Impact still winning here for Dumper on 2. Oops. Oh, doesn't really make a difference. Um, let's do iPhone X. Alright, so clearly X Impact there. You do. So both these most, yeah, looks like both of them are refreshing. All right, so this one going to XA1. Weather. Very close, X, X and back by hair. Spotify. X and back there. 
and a few more it's ESPN very fast on both let's do camera Again, excellent back there. And one or two more, what's the Chrome? And then we'll do Asphalt 8. And then I'm gonna get my final dots. All right, and last one, Asphalt 8. All right, so seeing here on the exit one, is restarting on the X Compact, it's not. So overall guys, um, as I said, the X Impact it did launch at five hundred dollars six months ago, whereas the XA XA One launched for around three hundred dollars uh, just a few weeks ago. But at this point, both the phones are around three hundred dollars. X Impact has had a couple price drops. Uh, XA One, of course, same price as the first launched. Um, just going off the speed test, going off my general use with the phones. I do think that the X-Compact, well obviously the X-Compact is faster as you guys saw in this video. Pretty much in all regards a little bit faster but really not much of a difference. Now overall both these phones do have a lot of similarities although the X-Compact does have some advantages. For example those dual front facing speakers and the fingerprint scanner. Also rear facing cam on the back is an advantage for the X-Compact. And also keep in mind you do have a larger battery on the X-Compact as well. 2700 versus 2300 capacity. Now guys, I think that the tests, you know, both phones are obviously pretty fast for mid-range phones, and you're not talking a big difference between the two. Um, but overall, I think just based on the fact that both these are currently at $300, I would recommend getting the X-Compact over the XA1. And aside from that, I am expecting the XA1 to drop in price a little bit more. Um, so, you know, probably in a few months from now, the XA1 will be cheaper than the X-Compact. But regardless of that, guys, at this point in time, I do think the X-Impact is a better value than XA1. Although XA1 does have some advantages, for example, the larger screen. So my personal thought, guys, is I don't think you can go wrong with either one of these phones. Both these phones for budget phones, great value. Uh, again, you are getting very fast phones for mid-range phones. And also you're getting great cameras on the back. Just, again, a little bit better on the X-Impact. Alright, everyone, thanks for watching. Hopefully the video is helpful. Now, please subscribe for more videos like this in the future. I do have a lot more videos planned for both these phones. And, of course, a lot of upcoming videos, especially for Sony Xperia devices. Uh, this channel was originally called Xperia Fans, so I do have a huge emphasis on Sony Xperia products. I do buy all of them, including the upcoming Sony Xperia X Premium. So, a lot to look forward to. If you want to check that out, go ahead and subscribe in the top left corner. Or, if you want, you can watch another video right now by clicking the bottom right. Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching.